Augie Chen, uh, I'm the head of North America Emerging and Scaled Creative Strategy and, uh, at Snapchat. And uh, you know, my pick of the day today has been uh, you know, this HBO Westworld execution with Alexa, um, driving a, a voice-activated game, going through that experience you know, during the judging rounds, um, even uh, remotely before, uh, how uh, immersed I was through voice. And I think to me, Right now, podcasts, you know, so much of that, um, you know, audio and sound design that that um, we think about uh, even at Snapchat in our, in our AR or in our um, uh, video units, it just it it all brought uh, this um, this emotion, this feeling, this uh, immersive uh, engagement that uh, that just had me sitting on the floor, uh, you know, talking to Alexa. So um, that spirit of it was uh, was really a through line that I that I loved. As the second season of Westworld came to an end, HBO wanted to give fans a reason to talk about the show even when it wasn't on air. So we created The Maze, a fully immersive Amazon Alexa voice game that allowed fans to navigate Westworld using only their voice. Alexa, open Westworld. You're new. Not much of a rant on you. Not that one, Clem. They're here for something else. You must be here to play the game. With 36 voice actors, 11,000 lines of script, 60 player-generated paths, 32 ways to die, and two hours of unique gameplay, The Maze is the most ambitious and immersive voice game created to date. It was produced with the show's creators and talent Jeffrey Wright and Angela Serafian. In the first week, over 10,000 fans tried to solve the maze, and the game generated over 500 million earned media impressions, thanks to Easter eggs hidden in the game just for press. Never had the pleasure of meeting Patrick, but I love his articles on CNET. The maze pushes the boundaries for voice device content, bridging the gap between new technology and the oldest form of storytelling. To play and explore Westworld for yourself, simply say, Alexa, open Westworld.